Hello, I'm Dr. Levon Hayrapetyan, a business professor at Houston Baptist University. In this short video, I will demonstrate another measure of uh, similarity between two observations. So far, we discussed how we calculate similarity between observations where the values are numerical. Now, if the values are categorical and they are and encoded as zeros and ones, then Euclidean distance is not the best one. The better, uh, there are two other me measure of similarities which we'll discuss now for this type of, of observations. So the simple way is uh, to see, <clears throat> when we want to see how similar they are, we will just see how, the, how many times the values of observations are matching. So the simple measure is called matching coefficient, and this is the formula how it is calculated. So matching coefficient is calculated. First, you calculate number of variables with matching values for both two observations, and then you divide that by the total number of variables. That will be ma your matching coefficient. Let me switch to Excel and demonstrate it. So here I have uh, two observations. I named them observation one and observation two, and there are, each of them has 10 variables. So variable one, two, and so on. And as you can see, the values are either zeros and ones. So how we calculate matching coefficient? This is the logic. You check how many times the, the observations have exactly the same value. So one, one, matching, not matching, matching, not matching matching, not, matching, not matching, not matching, and matching. So first we calculate how many matches do we have and then divide by total number of variables. The question is how to calculate whether the observations are matching or not, values are matching or not for two observations. For that, there are several ways to do that, but I will use a simple if statement in Excel. If, I will say if this value equals to this value, then one, otherwise zero. Then I want to have one, otherwise zero, which means I got one because these two are matching. Now this formula, I'll just copy this formula across for all var variables. And you can see that I got zero in here because there is no match. One, because there is match, zero. And the reason is if you open any of this formula, it checks it compares these two, and if they are the same, then it gives us one, otherwise it gives us zero. Now, after this calculation, which number of matches will be how many ones, how many times we get these ones, right? Which is, we can just simply add all these numbers and whichever number we get, in this case, it will be uh, how many five, then it will be number of matches. Therefore, coefficient of, a matching coefficient will be, simply sum of this range divided by number of variables, which is 10. So the matching coefficient is five. By the way, here I explicitly enter 10 as a number of variables, but if number of variables are large and you don't have to just manually count how many there are, Excel has a nice function called count. So I can use that count function and select variables for any observation because all observations should have the same number of variables. So it will be the same thing. This is how we calculate matching coefficient uh, when uh, values of variables are categorical and they are encoded with zeros and ones. So this concludes my short video. Let me stop sharing.